All right, let's do this. Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So it's been a while since we've talked about the world's thinnest tablet. This rule, this re, this remarkable, the remarkable two to be exact. I've had this since November of 2000. Yeah, and currently it's sleeping. So we'll wake it up, type in the old passcode. Whoops, that's not the, yep, that's right, passcode. Awesome. Did you know about the new feature called tags? Right here, see? Tags. It's like hashtags, but it's different because it's remarkable. It's good, but they kind of, <laughs> that's the thing, you know, when you have a remarkable name like that, I mean, you gotta, you gotta bring your A game and there's kind of one flaw and we'll talk about that. But first, let me show you how to use it. So we'll start off with the positive, then we'll rip off the Band-Aid. So first things first, it came with the most recent update. This actually came out last week. I wanted to wait to see if they came out with another update after that. So basically, you click on your settings. <clears throat> so basically to get there, you just click on your settings, go to general, click on version, and then click check for updates. And then your Remarkable will quickly check the internet for updates. And if you have version 2.14.0.861, you're good to go and you should have that. Now they do have advanced now, which is kind of fun. So there's retail mode and Remarkable beta program. I would not recommend joining the beta program. I've had, I, I've never joined the Remarkable beta program, but in general, that's if you have two devices. <laughs> Think of it as the, the old iPhone upgrade program. So tags is really easy to use. Basically, you're just assigning a category to your notebooks, or you can actually assign them to individual pages. So it used to be that when I, when I had a document, a, a notebook that I had, you know, 20 or 40 pages in there, I'd make an edit and then I'd save my stuff on page 40 and then it would go to page 40 the next time I opened the notebook. So I'd have to go back. But then if you made an annotation and you're like, oh man, there's something I want to do. Well, you just have to <laughs> remember it or write it down or ask your watch to remember, uh, to remind you. Now you can kind of organize your day better. And this is a, this is a feature that Evernote has had for quite some time. Honestly, I'm surprised that it took Remarkable this long, but it's pretty cool. Here, let's dive in. So here we are right here on tags. So let's back up a little bit, go to my files. Okay, well, where are the tags? If I do a long press on that folder, I can even tag a folder. So that's kind of cool. Let's go to PDFs. So let's say I'm reading these PDF and I'm reading about the, let's pick this one right here, the Apple Watch LTE version two. So if I long press right there, I can tag a PDF. Now if I open the PDF, this has eight pages. So we can swipe, swipe. Oh yes, so I wanna follow up on this. So I'm gonna do follow up with marketing and then I'm gonna put the date July 1st and then I just tag this follow up. So now I close that, go back to my notebooks. It's gonna quickly synchronize those changes to the server. You can see that right in the, the bottom there. And when you tag a notebook, you'll notice that there's these little pills here. That's what we call them at my company. So yeah, so there's the sleep pill. So if I click on that, it just opens up the document, but it's quickly, well, it's very easy to quickly navigate and see all those different tags. So right here, if I do a long press, the Amazifit, that's the watch I'm wearing right here, I can do a long, 
I can do a long press, it highlights that, or I can just see how I can select multiple at a time. Now I want to deselect that one, but this is about a watch, this is about a watch, this is about a watch, and this is about a watch. So I can highlight those, I can click tag, and I can choose watches, and then as soon as I hit close, you'll notice that these are updated and now they have the tagging for watches. Pretty cool, right? And let's open up a really large file here. Here we go, 40 pages. These are all my sleep study notes for the past, well, this whole year. So I can go to page 40, I can swipe, or if you remember this one, if you just swipe up from the bottom, yep, just, There we go. See, I can quickly get that glance and thumbnail. There we go. Some cool drawings. And go to that page. And then I want to do video content. So now what this is going to do is this is going to be kind of a dog ear. This is like putting a little post-it note. And I can even put the year if I want. Enter. So now just this one page is now annotated with that tag. So if I go to menu and I go to tags and I just search that one video content, it'll bring up all the pages that I've tagged with that exact tag. So in a way you can think of it as hashtags without the hashtag. And then I can quickly see, oh, page 10 of 41, click on it takes me right to that page. Very nice, very nice. Likewise, when you go to menu, go to tags, you can select multiple ones. So I want all the notebooks or PDFs with watches and with follow-up, and then it quickly narrows it down and none of them have it. But if I go to follow-up, there's my one PDF. And really this one should have been watches as well. So I'm gonna tag that. So now, if I do watches and follow-up, I should have one match or not. You have no content with this combination, select fewer. Let's try that again. So we'll go to PDFs, we'll go to Apple Watch. Okay, it has that tag. Somehow that didn't tag. Tag and watches. So there's the little pill. We go back to tags. And we'll try this again. So we'll go to follow up and watches. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like they have some kinks to work out. That should have worked, but it didn't. But you can see how you can quickly sort, whereas before, when you're just in notebooks, and my own system of tagging is, I have all these notebooks, hundreds actually, I would have to just put down. So my own system in tagging has been over the last year and change, wow, almost two years soon, I would just make the title of the document really, really long and that way I could search for those keywords in the title. That was the only way you could find things on the device. Let me show you another thing. So I think what Remarkable could have done to make, it, make this easier is right in the document, you know, why not just do hashtag watch and then use OCR to scan that. But instead, yeah, you have to do watches like that. So let's try another thing. Can you tag a page in the document and can you tag the document itself? Let's find out. So we'll do a long press tag, watches, all right, cool. Now we go to menu, go to tags, and we'll search watches. And we have scan watch, and it has page 14 and page 14 to 14. So 14 pages, so it's showing both the entire document and that one unique page. So very cool. Now to delete, a tag is a little harder. 
you have to go through all your documents and remove that one tag. So if I have just one tag, Italiano, okay, let's, okay, awesome. So if I go here, this is the one that's marked as Italian, and then I uncheck it, close that, go back to menu, go to tags, and now Italiano is gone. So for one reason or another, it doesn't actually just let you delete a tag when you're done with it. You have to go through all the pages and all the documents and deselect that, a little cumbersome. Now this is one thing, kind of the fallacy in this. I would think that the tags would be combined with the search engine. No, it's not, it's a remarkable mistake. Sorry, I'm not throwing everyone under the bus that works at Remarkable, it's just, I would have failed this feature for that reason. Uh, to me, that would be obvious, or at least allow the user, moi, <laughs> to select, no, no, I want tags to be separate from search. The other thing that Remarkable needs to do remarkably quickly is OCR. Why can't they do optical character recognition throughout the document and allow the users, you and me, to have that as a preference? Like, yeah, scan my document. You know, the tagging system, it's a nice start, but if I have a 40 page document on various things, you know, watches and calendar items and smartphones and Oakley reading glasses, you know, why can't I just search the whole document like PDF does? Adobe's been doing uh, that kind of categorization with text for a long time. And I think it would be probably 50% accurate, maybe 60%, of course, how well you write your penmanship. So let me show you here. So if you go to menu and then you go to tags, so you know you can search all those, but then you go back to notebooks and you click on search. When I type in this, the search word of watches or just the word watch, it only brings back the notebooks or PDFs that have watch or watches in the title. It doesn't connect the dots like, oh, and then here are all the tags. I, I don't understand why they didn't include that. But the tags work. I really like how quickly they sort. Let me show you that again, just from this view. So you just go to menu, go to tags, and you're searching for things, video content, boom. And then if I had video content with just watches, I could filter out those. I could do video content with, you know, pixel, oh, that was bright, pixel lights or various things. I could do video content and just filter down a Mazafit watches. So I've just started using the tags and I am finding it very useful. I like it. I think it needs a little bit more polish, but there you go. The main thing is when you're on a page, you can add a tag. You can select an entire document. So you can go to menu, go to menu, go to, you know, it works better when we're down. Hang on. So in summary, you can tag a page. So if we go to favorites, I can do this one and then we'll, yep, add a tag, create a new tag, and then you just type the name of the tag. If I could spell, there we go, Italiano, and then I'm going to put the year and enter. So there's a new tag just on that one page, or you can highlight an entire folder and then do a tag, and then I can say work. Enter, and now it's saved. Pretty cool. That was fast. And then if you go to your eBooks, yes, you can add tags here as well. So here we are, diamonds are forever. And if I'm on page seven and I find something really awesome, I'm gonna say that this would be a story idea. And then click, oops. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to edit that later. Let's try that. But first, I want to highlight the story idea by clicking on Highlighter. There we go, and close. So now we can go to Menu, go to Tags. Rename. Come on. Or, or not. There we go. Wow, it's kind of like, oh, I guess you have to start over. That's weird. We'll do story ideas. But the fact that you can rename your tags, very nice, remarkable, very nice. Well, I hope that kind of answers a lot of questions. So you can tag your PDFs, your eBooks, um, your notebooks, you can tag your folders, you can tag just about anything. And again, you can tag both the document or just the page or pages therein, and you can have multiple tags in one document. So what do you think? Does that answer your questions? Are tags, these new hashtags by Remarkable, are these gonna help you stay organized? I say yes, I'm looking forward to the polishing, the refinement of this new feature, and so far, so good. Would I buy this device again? Yes, I use it every day. I, I think I've used it all but two or three days since I've had it, and that's because I was having so much fun on holiday, I didn't need to do anything, uh, and my kids were using it, that was the other, anyway, I digress. So there you go, remarkable tanks by the Remarkable team. And you know, it's time to watch some cool videos by the Brotographer's Collection. He's one of my collaborators, co collaborators. Here comes the logo, wait for it. Wasn't that great? Let's do it one more time. Oh yeah, that was great. Here, we'll try to leave that right on the screen. So head on over to Ryan's channel, check out some of his videos, and let me know your pithy thoughts on this new feature. Hopefully I've answered some of, my questions, some of the questions that I've read online and some that I've had myself. Kind of a bummer that it doesn't combine in search, right? Yeah, pithy comments, type those down below. Thank you so much for your time, and yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. See you again sometime in the next 88 hours. Goodbye. Are you still? Goodbye.